All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, it's I, Craft Chest, and this is Take One Million. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've been able to say that. But here we are in Falkorth. We were in Rock Hala, and I mentioned uh, something about five hours. <laughs> I even held up four fingers. And so I decided to start over. Uh, wanted to be over here in Falkorth anyway uh, and talk about this a little bit. This is a community question coming from Todd Gordon who asked how to get trees and stone, mainly trees, but how to get resources to get your properties up. Uh, as you can see here, we have a cottage in Falkorth, and this is close by to the community center and the public farm over here. And we're gonna be talking about that briefly. And also too, you can see I have turkeys going on here, which we're gonna be feeding these turkeys while I talk about this. Now, as far as trees are concerned, what I would suggest is that you as a new player and by now you should at least have gone through your level 30 story quest your blue salt quest all the way through sand deep and you're back over to the east side and this was the east side question and that's all we're going to be covering right now are east side questions how did that dude get sick he popped sick look at this i knew it was going to happen something told me that i was going to have a sick turkey and there he is i have a sick turkey i dreamed that shit right there that i had a sick turkey look what happened I brought it on him. I'm sorry, Turkey. I didn't mean to make you sick. We'll have to get some uh, supplement for that right there. Get him cured up. But anyway, just FYI, as strange as it sounds on a little side note, turkeys are your best animal uh, to get leather from. Just FYI for future reference. And as you can see here, I did an earlier take that I messed up on also talking about how to place cottages. And as you can see, this cottage right here is placed at an angle and the reason why I did that just instinctively is because you could get an extra tree on a cottage if you kick it sideways. As you can see, I have two, four, and then finally six over here. On this 8x8, eight eight, I'd be able to get another four more. So that's 10 trees there. And then utilizing the public farm back over this way, you'll be able to get five more. Let's just assume that that's all you have right now. All right, so you'll have 10 trees, you'll have 15 trees right there uh, that you can keep a constant rotation on on the eight by eight and the cottage you can actually do the cedar trees for the most yield but it's actually going to take the most time uh, to get the trees out of all the ones that will fit on these properties now i know you can get vocational trees to put on here but that does cost vocational points and right now you want to try to save up those uh, for what i would like to call stage three and stage four of process as far as properties are concerned we're not going to go over that right now though all right so that right there will get you going as far as trees are concerned and you will actually have enough gilda to get uh, a couple of cottages if not three cottages plus your little eight by eight and you don't have to actually put the eight by eight down i want to show somebody something or show somebody show everybody something here right quick if you come up to um, like this house right here this isn't my house. This actually belongs to Delvey, I believe. I think Delvey owns like all these properties back in here on like 17 alt accounts. His whole family has an account. Uh, I don't know. I'm just playing. But anyway, as you can see, I can make tax bonds on other people's houses. That way you don't have to actually put down your scarecrow. So if you've been collecting on resources and you have enough stone to process and etc. to get a cottage up, you can go right straight to two cottages if you want to and place them in such a way to where in the future you'll be able to put down a thatch and i'm sure that's either going to be what his plan is here delvey does have a couple of properties over here uh, on two different accounts and he's either going to do thatches or trade pack houses or whatever and there you go now my plan is also on a side note we'll go back to the trees in just a moment is to have this 16 here i'm going to keep the cottage and then eventually this 8x8 is going to turn into a silo uh, in the future for storing purposes from bringing uh, Rockhalla fertilizer packs and Rockhalla Gilda packs and the high-end packs out of Rockhalla. And we'll either you know take them straight through Rookborn. Um, not going to really go through the mountain pass information either. That's late game. But right now what we're going to be doing is bringing packs out of Rockhalla take the airship to Rookborn, and then finally over to Falkorth and store them in the silo. And that's a little bit later also, but we're uh, getting those places for staging purposes, all right? You gotta think long-term 
whenever it comes to uh, these actual properties uh, right now, especially since the Arc Pass has been disabled. People are going to start shifting gears into these areas. So start getting your resources before they are highly contested by people. Now, as far as Rock Hollow is concerned, all the way around the perimeter and down these roads and nooks and crannies, there are trees everywhere. There are cedar trees, oh plenty. The trick is, is to actually be there when they pop. Now, unless somebody's going around maliciously uprooting trees, which has happened, and that has been a problem with this particular version of the game, people just uprooting trees just to uproot them. I actually ran across somebody. I was like, hey, dude, what are you doing? He goes, I'm gathering trees for my farm. So apparently he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Probably a brand new player that didn't know that he could go straight to the seed merchant. I would like to think that that's what the issue is. And people not just doing it maliciously. All right, but that's neither here nor there. Now, you can set a timer. Like if you have an Echo Dot or use your phone or whatever. And you see where trees are going to pop in two, two and a half hours, four and a half hours, five hours, whatever. Set it about 30 minutes ahead of time. And start going around and actually getting ready to cut these trees down. Because I promise you, if you don't, there's another person doing it. All right? And that will actually help you also in getting trees. Now, I know through the world, there's different areas that have different types of trees and all that. I'm just going to tell you that, in my opinion, Rock Hollow is probably going to be your best bet for all of your natural resources. It is one of the best places for all natural resources, including trade pack items. All right, anywhere from trees to stone, which are not trade pack items, I understand that. But you have thistle, you have yams that have dual purposes. Yams are trade packs, and you can chop them into chop produce all right thistle you can grind it into medical powder azaleas or dried flowers okay or just for the azaleas uh there are irises out here that you can grind into spices uh there's apple trees with apples oh plenty and you can make fruit juices out of those which are trade packs the apples are part of trade packs almost every single not almost every single item in rock Hala is useful for one thing or another it's not something that's just going to be I'm using this every now and again. It's stuff that you can use right now uh, just so you can get some gold generation also because there are dailies. Once you get uh, a house established, like we do have a cottage here in Rock Hollow, I'm able to do the community dailies here. And since I have properties here in Falkorth, I'm also able to do those dailies here. Keep that in mind. You don't just get limited to one. So I'm running two trade packs a night, and that's at least 30 gold, or 30 gold. Yeah, 30 gold. I was about to say silver for some reason. 30 gold uh, for those runs, and that's not even counting the Gilda packs, which right now are netting in, be in between 30 to 36 gold, depending on the area. And last I looked at the actual gold trader, the specialty trader, it was 36 gold for a Falkorth pack. So that's probably one of the packs we're going to run tonight. Uh, so don't just think that you have to just haul last to level, you know, 55 plus and into your ancestral levels to make gold. There are other ways to get gold in the game, all right, so that you can get your gear progression later. Okay, now I know everybody's saying you'll never catch up, you'll never catch up. All right, this is not the Diablo 2 ladder anymore. This is a pay version of the game. You pay for it to play it. All right, buy to play version of the game. And I understand back in the past with the refreshes and all this, you had to keep up with things like this. But we have to kind of shift gears because of the turn off the servers, turn on the servers, turn off, you know, the, the uh, what the hell is this? The arc pass, turn on the arc pass, turn it back off and tweak it, move stuff. You need to be able to play the core part of the game also to get by. And now's that time for us to shift gears back into some of the old ways of doing things to generate gold. All right, so hopefully, Todd Gordon, that helps you out with some ideas. If anybody else out there has some ideas on how to get trees, just a brief recap. Uh, get your, your 8x8 going. That'll get you four trees. Get your cottage, and you can get the stone very easily on a rotation. And if you come by the stream sometime whenever... You know, we're not actually out in the field doing things. I'll go down here and actually show you. I don't have a problem in the world porting to Rock Hollow and doing the rotation, which we might do anyway, and just highlight it to show you a couple of the rotations out here. And it'll be a little bit of a lengthy video, I'm sure, 
because we'll get sidetracked and tangent. But that's not a bad thing. I mean, information is key when it comes to having resources to have your properties and have them in a timely manner. Uh, for example, this guy right here, that has been there for since launch day. He did that, hadn't seen him since. And he's still got his little 8x8 in front of it. All right, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's not able to find his resources either. All right, so there you go, everybody. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, hopefully that helps you. Utilize your public farm. Five trees can go in a public farm. If you want fast rotation, four hours on cork trees. All right. Uh, 17 hours in temperate climate for cedar trees, which I planted these yesterday and we still have 30 more minutes on those. Uh, four trees on an 8x8. Eight eight. Keep in mind that cedar trees are probably going to be your best bet on both cottage and 8x8. Eight eight. They're some of the few trees that will actually fit. I know there's vocational trees that will fit, but these actually have a lot of good reasons why to go with cedar trees, okay, including Thunderstruck because of the different stages that they have and the chances that they pop into one. All right. And there you go. I'm going to leave it there. It's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun. Put your ideas, comments, or corrections if I got something wrong down in the comments section. We'll see you in Arc Age Unchained. Woo! Woo!